How's it going guys and girls? Now, uh, I'm going to backtrack a little bit on this video. So I remember meeting these couple of guys outside of Roadhouse a couple of months ago. If you don't know what Roadhouse is, go to roadhouse.com forward slash flare and you'll see the Roadhouse. There's a World Flare competition happening down there. Anyway, uh, I did a video on stalls which you can check out right here and it was more of a promo video on the different kind of stores which you can achieve but I didn't really show you how to, how to land certain stores so I'm going to quickly show you hand stall, arm stall uh, and I did an elbow stall one actually, it's right there but stalls, okay, when you're practicing any stall there's three steps to nailing a stall, okay, to, to get it one, you've got to figure out where you're going to catch it so I'm going to show you the shoulder you know, to, for me to get this one, this is what I did I put my arm in whichever position gave me the right spot to catch the bottle. So that is the spot. So the bottle is solid on my, on my shoulder. So now I knew that if I threw it correctly and I caught it there, I could catch the bottle on my shoulder without any problems. Getting this now within the probably two minutes I've got left is going to be difficult. But I had to first figure out, i use this one because it's easier, sorry. Uh, first figure out where I'm going to throw it from over the shoulder was too difficult so I needed to come up with a move, a throw which was close to my body and so I could keep myself in the position so I was throwing it and then figuring out where I needed to keep my body to land it on my shoulder okay oh I nearly got it it is a move which takes a few attempts to get it but you can see what's happening each time I go for the move, my hand is staying in the same position and I'm literally trying to put my body into the right place to balance that bottle. Whoa, almost. Whoop. It's a real tough one. That's kind of cheating, but you get the idea. It's a tough one because when you're on your hand, you have all this right range of mo movement to be able to balance the bottle. On your arm, it's a little bit smaller, but still quite big. On your elbow, it gets smaller. On your reverse forearm, it gets even smaller. On your shoulder, is nothing. So the, the, the throw needs to be almost perfect to get it on your, uh, your shoulder. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> Well, you get the idea. Hopefully, uh, you'll see. Let's go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes, when you're not thinking about the move, then you can nail it. So, the stall is the same. Get the balance, figure out the catch, then figure out the throw. Balance, catch, throw. Balance, catch is here. Put my arm in the right position, that's the catch, and then the throw comes later, okay? Balance, catch, throw. Get the balance, get the catch correctly, figure out how you're gonna catch it, then figure out the throw. Boom. This is Three Minute Thursdays. That was the shoulder stall and stalls in general. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm running out of puffed up there. Till next time, we see you next Thursday.